So today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Kingston SSD Now V Series Gen 2 64 gig SATA 2 solid state SSD drive. You'd think I was reading that from somewhere based on how rehearsed it sounded, but it actually wasn't. It's just all of the things that this drive happens to be. Okay, so what does Kingston say this drive happens to be? They say it is fast reliable and silent. This is true of almost every SSD on the market, so there is definitely no false advertising going on there. Next on the back, they say it is two and a half inches, which I'm not gonna pull out a ruler, I can tell you right now, that's a two and a half inch drive. Next, they say it is faster system startup, for sure, increases application responsiveness, definitely more durable and less noise. Yes, all of these things are true about SSD. I actually, SSD is a popular topic for me. I've done quite a few videos, both on Linus Tech Tips, as well as my NCIX Com channel outlining the advantages of an SSD drive because I think they are many and I think that if you can afford it, an SSD is one of the best upgrades you can do for your system right now. I would even say if you have a reasonably modern system, it is better than upgrading a CPU or RAM at this point in time because it makes such a big difference to the overall responsiveness of your system. Now this is a fairly popular drive right now and uh, there are a couple reasons why. First of all, Kingston's been very aggressive on their pricing. They're making a, a big push into the SSD market because obviously it plays a lot on their strengths as a company. Kingston is a memory and flash manufacturer. This is flash memory. So it stands to reason that they would want to get their foot in the door in this particular market. So uh, inside the box we find the... Um, let me just get this open. This is a perforated booklet for some reason. I can't figure out why they would bother to do that, but I have to actually break a seal here to access the inside. Very strange. Okay, and then in here there's a little booklet which tells us uh, it is a getting started guide and it is in umpteen billion different languages. I'm going to unfold it here so it's this wide. All right, let's have a look at the English one. Okay, it basically says plug it in and then configure the BIOS so that it recognizes the drive. All right, well, thank you, Kingston. As long as you know how to install a hard drive, actually, this is something I should talk about. If you know how to install a hard drive, you know how to install an SSD. I've actually gotten quite a few messages from, from people who are concerned about SSD. Well, you know, how do I know if it's compatible with my computer? Uh, how do I install it compared to a hard drive? It's exactly the same thing. It behaves exactly like a hard drive. So there's nothing, there's no sort of mystique about it. If you have a SATA 2 port, then you can plug an SSD into it. All right, so why don't we have a look at the drive itself? And I apologize because I haven't gone and prepped myself on the uh, read and write specs of this particular drive, and they don't actually put it anywhere on their packaging. It's a very, very strange thing. I had expected them to sort of outline the specs for me somewhere, but they, they haven't, so that's okay. Anyway, so you can see on the front, we've got the capacity here. And then under here we've got the series. So this is the SSD Now V series. They don't say anywhere on here about it being Gen 2, but I'm going to go ahead and guess that the S2 64 GB stands for something like Series 2 64 gigabytes. On the sides you've got your standard 2.5 inch mounting holes. So this is going to be compatible with almost all notebooks out there. All right, then you've got your other mounting holes on the bottom. So mounting holes on the sides and the bottom. Uh, what a lot of people are doing is they're putting these, okay, the two most popular configurations for an SSD. Number one, putting it in a laptop because it can breathe new life into an old laptop. You will not know what, what hits you when you install an SSD into your notebook. The next most popular configuration because capacities are so small. A typical SSD is between 30 to 120 gigs. So what people are doing is they're actually installing an SSD in their computer as a C drive, putting their OS and key applications on it, maybe a couple games, and then they're using a hard drive for the rest of their mass storage. This is actually what I do. I use a couple SSDs in RAID 0 in my system, and then I don't actually keep any mass storage on my computer. I have all of it stored over gig Gigabit Ethernet to a Windows Home server. Anyway, enough about me. On the back of the drive, we've got SATA power as well as SATA 2 data, and that pretty much covers my unboxing of the Kingston SSD Now V2 solid state drive. 